When I when I got the book, my wife gave me the book for okay. for nice. Christmas. My wife does not. Su Wait, I was gonna say that wrong. She doesn't disapport. But she understood when she married me. I was on my way to seventy five Buffett concerts. Okay. I was in my thirties, okay. concert wise. And she said, "I know what I'm getting involved with." Right. She bought me the book for Christmas. Okay, nice. And I so I was when I got the book, I was like very excited. Yeah. I had no idea what the contest was until I had bought the book, wow. and it was sitting, it was sitting on my, underneath my tree yeah. that morning. I read the whole story. I loved it. I thought, wow, that is cool. That is somebody who supports Drop Rock. Wow. I can do that. Cool. I travel a lot. I love what they do. I love what Trop Rock supports. That's great. And Trop Rock music, is, it's, it's a lot of fun music, right? And the, the, the guys are so warm and friendly. And you know, Trop Rock is more than a genre. It's an attitude. It's yeah, a lifestyle. Absolutely. And absolutely. and some people take a while to, it takes right. a while to get what that means. Right. This year, for example, I brought several people with me who have never, never been yeah. to a Parrothead event. And they got here and they said, wow. Have you shown them the book, the Dropbox? No, I have not. Honestly, yeah. they they don't even know. Okay. They wait. They knew I did it. Right. But they have not no, seen it. What it's about. Because, yeah. but they have been enamored. Right. By the friends and the people that they've met. Right. It has been spectacular. Oh, for that's them. right. Okay. Well, Brett, well, I really appreciate everything you've done to get the signatures and your enthusiasm with Trop Rock and in uh, supporting the Trop Rock song stories and tales book and uh, all the signatures you've got. And uh, Brett, as the winner of this. The signature contest. It's going to have his own section in the book, in the in the forward, most likely. It's going to be all about how he got the story. It's going to be a picture of him with the book, and we're actually going to put the photocopies of all the signatures in the book as well. And he gets a free copy of the second book. But really, I'm the one that should thank you because Drop Rock Songs oh. and Story. They it, it allowed me to meet people that I had I didn't know. Right. And now I have friends from all over the continent. Oh, absolutely. And, and I had friends before, but. Yeah. But it has increased my right. friendship, oh, and awesome. I love that, and I want to thank you for what okay. you did. Okay, well, thanks a lot. All right. Take it easy, all right. and good luck on getting your second book, getting all the signatures, too. That's one of my semi-regular customers. This one goes out for Mo. Song of mine, it was mildly popular back in 1969. You might remember this song if you're real old and have any brain cells left from the 60s. <laughs> song made it up to number 11 on the top 40 chart for about five days. Used to be in a band called Spirit back in those days. I wasn't with them for very long because, uh, well, they were all, they were all drug abusers and I was a drunk. <laughs> and uh, the, those two don't get along very well actually, to tell you the truth. <clears throat> so they fired me. And 45 years later, three of them are dead from drug overdoses, and I'm still a drunk, so I guess I win. <laughs> this portion of our program brought to you by the Conquer Public Rum Company of Key West, Florida, without whose help none of what you're listening to would be possible at this hour of the day, because when I'm sober, I'm painfully shy. <laughs> and that's the truth. In fact, if it wasn't for alcohol, I might never have gotten laid ever in my life. <laughs> it's the truth, huh? A lot of people think this song is about ecology and the environment and stuff. It's really about unscheduled pregnancy. <laughs> Major way of telling you, dying 
It's been a great season. Um, we're looking forward to doing our, our next season coming up probably around September. And we're going to head on over to uh, the Smoke and Tuna now to see the Mass Acoustics doing their song, Sound of the Summer. So until next time, we'll see you again. Keep on trop rocking.